what's up guys welcome back so today we are again going to do pattern printing uh, now uh, I hope you have seen my previous video and uh, you have uh, knowledge of loops because uh, some part uh, uh, in this video I'll be assuming a few things that I told in the last video I'll not be explaining those stuff again because that will be uh, really wasting your time so let's move on so today's pattern that we are going looking is that we are printing the pattern now if you remember the previous pattern this is actually the reverse of the previous pattern that we just did in the the, the last video so now let's look uh, how does uh, how do we go about doing this so as you can see over here uh, in the first row we have five stars uh, second row we have four likewise three two and one now as you can see the stars the the number of stars are decreasing by uh, every time you go to the next row right so these are the rows as you remember from the last video and these are the columns in this uh, I have shown printing of five rows right so as you can see that the first row has actually the five uh, actually has five stars but the second row has four stars so as you can see the stars are decrementing by one okay so in the previous lecture the stars were incrementing by one now we are decrementing it by one so the logic will still remain the same just we have to decrement this time instead of incrementing in the previous case now we'll start from if suppose the user says I want to print a hundred rows right so in the first row we'll be having hundred stars in the second row we'll be having 99 and uh, so on the stars will go on decreasing till we reach only one star right so we will be doing uh, doing a dynamic code as compared to previous code where uh, I started out by giving a code for uh, maybe five row and then we uh, changed it to a dynamic one from the user in this one we'll be directly taking the input from the user and we'll be direct writing some of those uh, some of the loops that I'll be writing some of some part of it will be assumed to be covered in the last uh, pattern so let's jump into the code so I have just created a pattern print 2.c as it is our second uh, pattern printing now I'll just do the basic stuff that is include stdio and write down the main now after writing down main uh, now first thing that we need to do we need we don't know how many number of rows we want to print so, right so we'll be asking that from the user we'll be taking the number of rows from a user I'll just declare a variable number of rows uh, as an integer and I'll take the input from the user now, so just what I did is I, dec uh, I have printed a message asking the user for number of rows and I have taken that input in our number of rows which I have declared as integer now in this case like in the previous one we need two loops one is to print the rows and one is to print the columns so we'll be needing two loops so I'll just declare the variables that will uh, loop variables so in this case I'll be using row for going uh, row wise and column for the column printing that is uh, the star printing so I'll just quickly write down the two loops so I have just written down our loop structure that it will look like I have not filled in the uh, loop uh, things that uh, initialization condition and increment that uh, we'll be doing together for this outer loop that will be handling the rows right so I'll just be using it will start from row equal to one and how many rows do we want to print we want to print from one to the number of rows right so I'll just uh, write a uh, so the condition here will be till a row is less than or equal to your number of rows and uh, because we were uh, uh, and we want to print every row right so the increment will be by one uh, so I'll just be creating the number number of columns to be printed a variable so that I know every time how many number of co number of columns I need to print now these number of columns that to be printed initially for the first row is actually equal to the number of rows the user want us to print right so now I'll just be using our number of columns to be printed now this variable is telling me how many number of columns to be printed right so if the number of columns to be printed are suppose say 10 so I need to print from 1 to 10 stars right so I'll just initialize our column variable to 1 and this will print till the number of columns to be printed is equal to the column and this will increment by one now this will run the loop will run till 
our column is equal to our co uh, number of columns to be printed now every time we want to print the star right so every time we need to print a star so i'll just print it so every time after we have completed a particular row we need to go to the next row that that it starts from the next line right so we need to have a next line print or here i just had a mistake that i written print i change it to print f and every row that we advance further the number of columns to be printed is decrementing by 1 right so we need to actually decrement it by 1 now this minus minus operator will decrement it by 1 okay so before we compile i just found found out a few errors so just need to correct them so this o is actually capital and in here instead of i we should have column so i guess no errors to compile okay so we have done compiling so let's run our code so now to i'll say we want to print 6 okay so we have 6 right so we have finally completed printing our uh, pattern i hope the printing uh, the code was quite clear and the explanation was good uh, if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section we'll be happy to help you out and if you want any specific pattern to be done by us uh, also leave it in the comment section and you can find this code in the description do subscribe to our channel like our videos you can also like our facebook page the link will be there in the description thank you